Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently saw a thing called Taskmaster and found it amazingly great. That's why I thought I'd talk about this and how you can use it to reduce errors and make things easier. Let's talk about what this actually is. So, Taskmaster is a task management system for your AI coder. This can be used both as an MCP server and without an MCP server. So, it depends on how you go ahead and use it and configure it. Anyway, how it works is simple. It takes your project requirements and breaks them down into multiple smaller tasks that are easier for AI to achieve. And these tasks are not just one-liner tasks. Instead, these tasks are proper, detailed files of how the task should be implemented. If it is going to use a library, then it will have example snippets of how it should be done. And it can also research what is the best way to do it and stuff like that. It uses two things, which are Perplexity and Anthropics Claude 3.7 Sonnet Model. This is kind of cool. So, what it does is that you give it project requirements about what you want to do and things like that. Then, it breaks it down into multiple subtasks. Each subtask also has information about which tasks are dependent on which other tasks. It then also creates detailed information for the tasks by using perplexity to find things related to new libraries. And it also apparently uses it to write sample snippets of code and things like that. Then, the AI coder of your choice can keep track of the tasks and mark each task as completed or not completed and things like that. The whole point is that it just works. And let me tell you how you can configure it and do some cool stuff with it. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. It gives you all kinds of image generation, video generation, and even 3D model generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Google's Image Gen, or VO2 Video Gen model, or even Kling, or any image or video generator model that you can think of. You can just type in your prompt for a video or image and get it generated in literal seconds. You can also generate 3D model generations with it in literal seconds as well. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, YouTube thumbnail generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10 and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now back to the video. First of all, there are two ways to use Taskmaster. One is with the MCP option, and one is without it. Both do the same things at the base level. If you don't run the MCP server, then your coder will run terminal commands to talk with Taskmaster, whereas MCP will be a bit more reliable. So, let me just show you how you can use it with the MCP option. First of all, head over to the AI coder of your choice. Let's use Klein for this. I'm going to just head on over to the settings, and over here, I'm going to edit the MCP server settings and just paste in the Taskmaster chunk here. Now make sure that you also put in the API keys accordingly. The Perplexity API key is optional, but I'll recommend you have that in order to get the best results. You can also change the model if you wish, and you can also change the Perplexity model to Reasoning as well if you want to. But I'll recommend you keep everything as is. Now we can actually start using it. But before using it, let's ask it to build me a project requirements document or just a text file. This is what we'll need to give Taskmaster in order for it to make subtasks for us. So just ask your AI coder to make the PRD for you. You can just give it your idea. In this case, I want it to build me a Minesweeper game which can be played by two users in real time and then whoever clicks a mine first 
loses. It's kind of cool. So just ask that, and your AI coder, like in this case Klein, will get that made. Now it's done. So now what we can do is just hit the Initialize Taskmaster option, and then what it will do is initialize Taskmaster in your project. You can see it just creating some folders for you. The folders include scripts and tasks. Tasks is the folder that contains the detailed tasks, as well as a JSON file that contains the index of the tasks, which is kind of cool. The tasks will pop up after the parsing. Now, what it will do is try to parse the PRD that we just created, but it actually has a format that we should generally follow. So, just ask Klein to look at the example PRD and then update your PRD accordingly. Now, once that's done, just ask it to parse the PRD accordingly, and in just a bit, it will be done, and it will create a ton of tasks that you can see here, and this will also be updated in the task JSON file, which you can see, and it's now done. Now, one thing that I'll recommend is that you open up the terminal and also get the Taskmaster CLI tool installed, and then just run the Taskmaster list command, and this will show you the tasks that it has made here in a better looking graphical interface. It will be better for your own reference. Now, it uses the rules file as well. So, it creates the windsurf and cursor rules as well. That's why just you'll need to just select the windsurf rule file or cursor rule file and Klein as rules. So just do that. Anyway, we can now just put Klein in auto-approve mode here, and now just ask it to implement everything and get the stuff done for me. So, you can see that it just starts doing it. It updates the stuff, then asks Taskmaster itself for what to do next, and just continues one by one. If we wait a bit, then it has now done the majority part of it, and it also uses a bit of context, seven here and there, and just does that, which is kind of cool. Now, if we run that in here, you can see that this works pretty well, and the Minesweeper game keeps getting updated as we try to do something, and it's kind of great to see. I really like how well it performs. I like Taskmaster, although I only use it for things that are really complex and for which I don't know how to navigate through. For example, I don't know what will be better for this, like if it will be better to use web sockets or a simple sync engine or anything like that, and it can just figure it out and maybe not work at all or at least get me to a place that is better for me to navigate through. It does indeed cost a lot because it uses Sonnet. I really wouldn't recommend you use it for everyday tasks because it just makes some simple tasks super complex, but it is great to use for creating a complex app that needs to be made from scratch. Another thing that is pretty bad with it is that it doesn't take in the context of your files. So, it can't make tasks accordingly, which is kind of bad, and not something that I have been able to put in my workflow yet. I do believe that it is really good for doing stuff from scratch, but it's not something that is an all-rounder and can be used daily. So, I hope that is upgraded accordingly. I found it interesting, and that's why I thought to share stuff about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.